my name is Maite, Maite Barroso, and I come from Spain, from uh, Toledo, a city in the center of Spain, far away from the sea. <laughs> so I work uh, in grid operations, which uh, basically is to keep the grid infrastructure running, giving a, a very good uh, service to the, all the applications, the experiments using it. I'm working uh, for the EGE project, uh, a, a grid project uh, and, uh, providing a, a production grid infrastructure which is being used by WSCG and uh, on the grid operations area coordinating all the different sites that are working together to provide this grid infrastructure, the computing and the storage resources and the service out of it uh, to be used by the experiments and all the other sciences. So this is uh, what EGE adds to WLCG. We are not only giving the service to the, to the high energy physics uh, community, but also to other scientific communities that are making use of it. We say it is production because it is not a test bed, uh, because of the quality of service we are given. We try to give a 24 hour service uh, uh, at the level of what the users require. For example, the, the four uh, experiments here at, at CERN really re have a very demanding requirements in, in terms of uh, processing of, uh, of uh, data, uh, computing, uh, also the, the, the level of service, in, in, for example, the time to solve the problems, they need, they need the quick reactions, uh, the contact with the sites, the procedures, how to uh, deal with the different uh, situations, uh, documentation, uh, monitoring, the monitoring of the sites, all the operational security uh, procedures to deal with them. So this is what makes the difference to, to provide a, a production service, the, the quality of service we are giving. In the experimental phase, uh, uh, what uh, the goal is to make the service run, to make the middleware or the software uh, run, to really make sure that it can deal with the basic requirements, so it can handle data, the computing, uh, the computing needed is available. Uh, now, a production service, you keep this running for a very long time, forever in fact, uh, and you keep it running with a very good quality of service. So you have a set of procedures and a set of tools to ensure this. And it's not, uh, in this case, as we are providing a distributed service with uh, 260 sites involved, it is not only 10% of the sites which are giving a reliable service, it's the whole infrastructure that is giving this, uh, available, this high level uh, production service to all the uh, applications using it. This is a, a long process and for us uh, it is not that we are starting production now that the accelerator starts. We have been preparing for this for many years already and in the last year we have been doing simulation. So the WLCG project has been running the computing reading, readiness challenges twice this year uh, to prepare for what is coming. So they had very demanding targets in, in terms of uh, computing, in data transfers, but also on the service side of it, to make sure that we are providing this quality service. So how the problems that appeared were solved, how they were communicated to the sites, how fast the sites were reacting, all the different uh, uh, sides of the problem. So not only uh, the, 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 the is the, comp uh, is the computational problem that the experiments have solved, but is the service ready? And this has been uh, uh, really uh, experimented during the last year at several points, and we have met all the targets. So basically, the, the message is we are ready. We are ready to do production, and we, for us, it is like if production is running, because, because already uh, some data is being pro processed from the cosmic arrays. And also, during these uh, challenges that were run two months this year, we could uh, give the service they needed and we could even oversee, it, over exceed, oversee the, the expectations. And this was done, what is very important is was, this was done without any specific uh, thing put into place for these uh, activities. So we were running normal operations with the standard procedures, with the standard teams dist working distributed all around the world and it was even transparent for the other uh, scientific applications running on the grid that were not the experiments. So uh, it was the message uh, and the results we got is this is working, we have the model, we are there and now we work continuously to improve it, of course. The main challenges we have uh, at the day of today 
on the grid operation side to provide this uh, good quality service and to keep this big uh, production infrastructure working is this distribution, the collaboration. At the end, it's not the technology, it's the people working on it, and in this case, it's distributed all around the world in many sites with many different uh, concerns. So to really keep all these people together working towards a common goal and to continue do is doing this in the future in a sustainable way, this is a challenge uh, that, that we see now. It's a collaboration. It's a collaboration in, in terms of infrastructure, to be able to build and to run this grid infrastructure is a collaboration, but also in the terms of the usage. Uh, this is the, 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 a very good uh, tool for scientific collaborations, which are naturally distributed. As the resources are distributed uh, and the, the service given is also distributed, the way we run this production infrastructure is distributed. It's not done here at CERN on a single place, all sitting together on a centralized control center. No, it is done rotating all around the world by different teams. So the usage also is, the natural usage is also a distributed uh, collaboration enabling these uh, scientific communities. So uh, I got into it a bit uh, by accident. I was working in Geneva in a different company. I'm a telecom engineer, so working in something completely different. Uh, I didn't enjoy much my, my work, so I was looking for different opportunities. And I saw this uh, wonderful opening here at CERN for the first grid project with, where CERN was involved, data grid and I applied for it and I got the post and uh, this started this uh, story till now, S seven years now, yeah. There are some similarities, in fact uh, I think I got the job because uh, I had some experience in collaboration again. I was working in software development projects, all of them with a distributed collaborative nature where several countries were involved and we had to work together and this was one of the reasons why I thought this was very interesting, because of the collaborative uh, approach of the, uh, of the technology that was going to enable this in the scientific uh, communities. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I liked science from the beginning, and the, like, uh, the, the part uh, I was most attracted uh, to CERN is this, like doing something, the difference with business is like you are doing something for the future of the humanity, for the knowledge, it is a concept that you don't find in industry, where you work more uh, to make money, even if you, if you work in research in industry, it's completely different. Here you, have, you see this common goal, all these countries working together, all these people working together. It is amazing. I liked it from the very first day. Mm.